still with the fastest time tonight, but here comes the reigning champ, and he sprints onto this rolling log. That is a sign of things to come. Just 21 years of age, the focus and intensity of Charlie Robbins has been so impressive to watch. There he goes. Safely through the rolling log, he'll pick himself up and start to clear his head, preparing himself for obstacle three. Here he goes. He does the Ninja Warrior turn just to rebalance and refocus, adjusts the glasses, rubs the hands and says, bring on the diving boards. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Bit of a forward roll, but Charlie's through. And he's at the ring turn just a few seconds slower than Zach Stoltz. And he's straight up and working that ring around. Look, he's already locked in the first ring. Reaches across for the second, misses it. A bit of a surprise. He'll get it on the next swing. He does. Working hand over hand, moving that ring. Locked into place, and now he will swing for the third ring. There he goes, he's got it. Charlie Robbins through. And now he meets the flying shelf grab. Straight onto the first shelf. You've got these, mate, you've got that. This guy is on fire. Here he goes, beautifully done. And what a really good catch. Didn't catch at full extension. Catches with a little bit of a bend. That just shows he's in full control. And now he's onto the warp wall. With two minutes and 13 seconds to go, Charlie Robbins faces the warp wall. He's up. It's a dead heat for Zach Stoltz through the first part of the course. The last three obstacles will test his endurance. And this is where it all fell apart for Rob Patterson. On the Ferris wheel. Now Charlie Robbins makes his way onto the first of the two wheels. Making his way up the top. Then the wheel just starts moving to drag you down. And he actually lowers himself, holding on to two different ones. That's the first time any ninja has approached the Ferris wheel that way tonight. He's Charlie Robbins. He won the series last year. He can do it any way he wants. Well, Charlie, come on, man. Stay focused. Here he goes, once again, that unusual grip, one on one, one on the other. Now he's going to get the swing. Needs to make the dismount. He's taking some time. Come on, get off, Charlie. But there it is. He's down. And now onto the spider jump. And here is where it all went wrong for Fred Dorrington as well as Bryson Klein. And Charlie, he just looks absolutely shattered. Has he got enough left in the tank? Pretty deep, pretty deep. He's really fatigued. He's had a great deal taken out of his body so far. He's got to nail this, get his way through the spider wall. Here he goes, Charlie sticks it, but that's only half the job. Being so tired, he needs to be careful through this tunnel. Oh, he's not doing it as smoothly as some of the other ninjas, definitely feeling the pace, but he'll make it through, and he has just one obstacle to come. Charlie Robbins enters the chimney sweep. There's 30 seconds to go right now. Up the chimney he goes. Both Zach Stoltz and Mike Snow had finished by this stage. Four metres, five metres, six metres. He's just nailing this chimney sweep. Incredible, Charlie Robin. Hit the buzzer, Charlie. And with 13 seconds left on the clock, Charlie Robbins eyes off his spot in grand final part two. He looks exhausted, but now he can go away, rest and prepare for his assault on Mount Midoriyama.